Diploma Soccer Universe. I'm in the dreaded Germany shirt. <laughs> I have to admit it, I love it. I like this shirt a lot. <laughs> I really don't like Germany, at least in soccer. At least in soccer, I don't like them, but I love, I really like this shirt. So let's see where it will go. Uh, yesterday, the first two groups, groups A and group B at the Women's World Cup, finished. And yeah, there was not too much drama. Um, the first obvious um, was that Germany is playing um, South Africa. And Germany so far was not yet convincing. Yes, South Africa is not a huge opponent, but you know, they got some, uh, you know, they lost 3 1 and I think 1 0. Not really bad results uh, against Germany. They had one less chance when it was already uh, done, uh, done and dusted. I mean, Leupold makes uh, it 1 0 for Germany in the 14th and 29th. Debritz um, makes it already 2 0. A nice header by Pop in the 40th, 3 0. It was clear Germany is going to win this group from that point on. And Maragul makes it then uh, 4 0 uh, after, I think, a header that bounced off the post and she slots it home. Then uh, South Africa had this one chance to score. But in the end, uh, Germany could, could have added a fifth one too. So Germany wins this group, and then it was the question who is going to be second, which in a way is a disadvantage, a disadvantageous position because uh, the second place team will play the win of Group F, which is most likely the US. And even if it's not, even if it was Sweden, then you play in the quarters of uh, France, you know. Um, it was better to be in third place where you play uh, potentially England or... Excuse me, I am still with the, uh, Poland. Or uh, Group C, which is Brazil, it Italy, uh, Australia, pro potentially Italy. So, you know, a much softer uh, part. Um, and that kind of did the... I mean, I saw a little bit of the game. The game was all Spain, but Spain did not have... Could not find the breakthrough, was not very da dangerous and not clinically in front of goal. And for that reason, it ends how... I actually expect it to end nil-nil because it helps both to go through. And for Spain, they were caught. You needed kind of a German loss to uh, to have a chance of winning the group. But also, um, if you then if Germany wins and you attack, you might end up with a loss in three points and out of the World Cup. The nil-nil helps both to advance, but you cannot really get out of the second spot. Um, and it really showed. And yeah. Spain is through and China will is also through uh, with this nil-nil draw, but I think in Spain one will be very, very disappointed ov overall. Uh, in Group A, uh, both games were dominated by penalties. Um, let's start with South Korea and Norway. This was basically a last chance for South Korea. If they beat Norway, they have a chance of advancing because if France wins against Nigeria, then it's a three-way tie with three points and goal difference uh, will be the decider. South Korea would have had the disadvantage there too, having lost 4-0 to France. But, you know, you have a teeny chance. It was not to be. Uh, very early, early on, like, a penalty is given uh, that Graham Hansen uh, slots away. And then early in the second half, same thing. A pretty clear foul in the box. Again, penalty for uh, Norway. Almost safe this time, but it, uh, it was uh, taken by Herlofsen, and it is 2-0 for Norway. Then in the 78th, um, Yomin Ji, with a really nice goal because of the assist, uh, back heel assist, uh, goes through, makes it 1-2, and then they even have the chance to equalize, but alas, it was not to be, and 2-1 Norway. And now the other game was Nigeria-France, and uh, it was curious to see how it will go, because, again, France had very convincing against South Korea, but, you know, against Norway was so-and-so, and, -so and uh, also, do you go for first place, knowing that the US women probably will get first place? So, yeah, that uh, was the big question. The game was not all the good. France had most of the chances. It was mostly notable for the jersey matchup. Both teams in the first uh, dress, more or less. France in dark blue, white and red, and Nigeria in green, light green, the wonderful light green jersey with white pants and green socks. White pants clash. I thought that FIFA doesn't go, go for that. I was very, very, very surprised. I mean, I'm very happy about that. I like the French kids. 
with white pants a lot better than with dark blue ones, but given that France has been playing in dark with dark blue pants the whole time so far, I was very surprised about that. The inconsistency of the FIFA kit rules is staggering to me. In the end, it was a penalty that uh, got France the win. A draw would have seen Nigeria also through and kind of, I thought this will play into it, but you know, they get a penalty uh, where, with, which results in a yellow red for Eberé. It was, it was a foul. Renard steps up, puts the ball at the post. And you thought this is the big letter for France. Nope. Goalkeeper's feet were off the line. Bivar had to be retaken and this time Renard, who has kind of this very up and down World Cup, this time Renard converts and France runs up 1-0 winners. France wins the group. Uh, let's quickly see where they will be uh, playing next. So we know that uh, Germany will play a third place team from groups A, C, D. This is to be decided. No, we will play the second place team from group C. So this is uh, Brazil. Or Australia, pro, uh, potential, uh, probably Australia. Uh, France, a third place team uh, from Group C, D, and then of course Spain will play the, the winner of Group F. So remains to be seen how things pan out. Two games today. We finish up in uh, Group C today, and yeah, we'll see how it will go. Uh, whether the Azuri really can pull off a group win, which to me would be probably the biggest dollar so far in the first round. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.